Now previously, we've shown how PEM can allow you to remove local admin rights from your main population of users. We've even extended that through to developers and DevOps, and today we're going to do something different. Meet Matt and Stuart, our most senior sysadmins, and they protect us from everything the internet's going to throw at us. But today we're going to try an experiment. Today we're going to remove local admin rights from their accounts and see if they can get a day's work done. So in order to prove this hypothesis, we're going to have to do five main tasks. Something like checking network adapter properties, opening command prompts as administrator, installing antivirus such as ESET, opening up event viewer to look at some tasks, and adding a local account. This basically now gives us two methods to uh, gain administrator access using PEM. One, using the self-approval process, and the other, using the pre-approved policies. Okay, so now we've got our five tasks that we need uh, administrative access uh, to be able to perform. Uh, let's click through and just confirm that we do need it. Uh, I'm just going to go into the adapter settings here and see if I can edit it, which I, I can't. Brilliant. Uh, now we're going to look at the uh, security settings in the Event Viewer. Um, again, I can't see a thing in there, so we need admin access. Uh, let's try and add a local user and see if we can do that with my currently logged on user at present. Call them la local user. Uh, let's put in a suitably fantastic password and confirm that. Okay, and now we've got yeah, access denied. Yeah, can't do that. Brilliant. Uh, and obviously, we need to right click run as administrator for an administrator command prompt. Uh, we can't do that. And the last one is the ESET installation. Again, straight away. It wants to have an access. Okay. So as Stu said earlier, there are two methods of getting admin rights. When we're installing an application like ESET as an antivirus, what we need to do is we just need to right click and run as administrator using PEM. Now what PEM does in the background is it goes off and checks to see if there's a policy that was being pre-approved for this, which in this case there has, and off it goes and runs. Okay, now we're going to elevate our permissions uh, to administrator level uh, using PEM. So if we head over to the PEM icon and uh, double click, we get a little prompt and we can start a self approved session. And we've now got administrator rights that have been granted. Uh, click on OK. Let's, let's go and check our networking and sharing center now. Uh, we can open that up and go to our adapter. And let's see if we can view and edit the properties here. Log on using my unadministrative user. And we can now see it. So PEM has worked. And we now have admin rights. Okay, over to Event Viewer to go and look at some uh, security settings. So right click and run as administrator. Log on. Okay, now if we head down to Windows Logs and Security, and we can now see that the, the events are populated. Uh, we can see what's going on. Uh, local user additions. Let's head into Computer Management with a right click, run as administrator. Log on with that same user account again. Okay, head over to Local Users and Groups and Users, and we're going to create that new user local hyphen user with a fantastic password again. And we can see that has worked fantastically. And it's important to reiterate the, the importance of me using a non-administrative account to do this because it protects my actual admin account from being misused. And let's try our command prompt. And we can do this differently. We can use a right click and run administrator with PEM. And we'll now get a little UAC prompt from PEM up there. And we can now log in with that same user. And we now have an elevated command prompt that we can do admin things with. 
So there you are, and there it was. It's important to remember that most malware needs local admin rights to get a real hold into a system. And with PEM self-approval, we've been able to take away the standing local admin rights of our most senior sysadmins, Matt and Stuart, and they've been able to get their day's work done. So if you'd like to know more about PEM, PAM or PPA, please get in touch. Other than that, slap like and subscribe.